They call him Icky Dick. He's solving crimes, he is Icky Dick. At his desk all day, he's Icky Dick. At his desk all night, he's Icky Dick. Icky Dick. I don't know what's going on, y'all. Someone's gonna have to investigate it. I can't do it, I'm already doing an investigation, so, you know. You know, being the best investigator in the world comes with a lot of power. I mean, I know y'all have seen the past few days, I've made the entire true crime community stop criming. Yeah, they stopped. They ain't investigating nothing. They all said, dang. We quit. We're not investigating no more. We're just gonna talk about you, Mr. Upchurch, since you're the best investigator in the world. We will retire from investigating to just watch you investigate, like I told y'all yesterday. I mean, right here, I mean, I just, I got stats in yesterday where it's like, it's telling me that YouTube investigating brain activity has gone down with the pandemic. And you gotta think, YouTube investigators, well, actually just original investigators, used to walk around, you know, with pants with a bunch of pockets, a cool hat, magnifying glasses, they didn't even cry about the heat or nothing. With all that wool outfit on. I looked it up and I was like, why did they do that back then? Even though it was real hot. And they were like, well, they were hot on the trail. They didn't, they didn't even change clothes from winter time to summer. They just kept the same clothes on, kept on investigating. I read this story one time. Actually, I got it right here. It's right here. See it? Oh, never mind. It's Invisibility Inc. You don't have that kind of spyware. I can read it, but you can't. Let me get my special top number one YouTube investigator uh, invisible reading glass. Hang on. It's only for top investigators. You can't even find it on the internet, so don't even look. It says, Yes, it is a proven fact that investigators were so investigative that if they was on the beach at vacation and someone was like, Oh, crap, something bad happened over here. They would just investigate until... Until zero degree weather. Yeah, that's where the uh, term cold case came from. I don't, I'm just speaking facts. Don't you see this magnifying glass? Then in the 80s and 90s, they was investigating, but they were like sitting in cars, you know? Still kind of hot. So it's like, eh, kind of lazy, kind of not, I guess. They'd get out of their car and go look at things at places. And back then, you know, they was just, they were on their way out of being number one uh, investigators. So they still had the big magnifying glasses. If there was something at a place to look at, they were like, hey, I brought this to look at it extra hard and extra long, okay? Hello? Emergency, 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 something happened at a place. Be there in a minute. Sorry it took so long, y'all. We solved 44 murders in two different states with this magnifying glass. They said it's the most unsolved mysteries solved in all of eternity and history from everybody ever. They said the only person who solved that many crimes before was Jesus. And it was because he kind of knew what was up. He was like, hey, I'm flooding the world, bitch. And then he wrote about it. So technically he wins. But yeah, looked at a lot of stuff and things at places, but this got the job done. Just from this, that's all. I remembered everything else. Plus, I'm good at following clues. Kind of hard to not follow a clue with this in your hand, you know? I ain't figured out some new stuff about this pristine piece of technology. This guy come up to me yelling, saying, fuck Trump. And I was like, get away, you're spitting. And I held it up like this because he had some really like weird looking teeth. And I noticed at that moment, I was like, oh my God, if I hold it with two hands, it must activate some kind of filter, because I can see through people's bullshit with it. Sheesh. Actually, that gives me an idea. See, I got ideas, too. I don't just investigate. I got good ideas. Hello? Yes, is this the um, special top advanced skilled number one private investigator club? Okay, cool. I have a question. You think on this big, humongous, crazy top secret magnifying glass we can add, like, an application on it or something? I don't know. I think it just needs like a gender revealer on it or something. You know? No, not for babies. People pop balloons and stuff for that. Do burnouts. You ain't never seen the smoke this pink or, or blue? You're behind times. 
I mean, like, you know, if a girl comes up to me, she's like, hey, I like your hair. It's real crazy. I could be like, well, hang on a second. Let me see if you're lying about being a girl. And I could do this. Well, you can't see, but I could stick it in front of their face. Why would I need that? Because I'm the top number, you know this, I'm the top number one private investigator on YouTube in the world. You know how many mysterious chicks are like, hey, what's up? I need something like this to scan their skull to find out if they're lying. I mean, look, a man can investigate many things, but love is not one of them. You know what it'll be like if I was like, all right, cool, let's have dinner. And then I, and then, and then it, it goes to go down. I'm like, well, how curious George, you have a tail. Cause look, I ain't one of them celebrities. I don't do none of that weird shit. My door only swings one way like the hinges were half made. All right, cool, appreciate it. Hey, by the way, can we tell them to put like a metal detector thing on here? I've been doing that a lot lately too. And also put some tint on this thing, like some 5% tint so nobody can see what I'm doing. Oh yeah, and I got a cool vest. Yeah, the town gave it to me. It was a special operation. Uh, me and this magnifying glass, we, you know, we just, we, together, we see the bigger picture of everything. So, so actually two of those 44 murders were, ain't even happened yet. We solved them before they happened. So yeah, they said, no, ain't nobody ever done that before. Yep, first time anybody ever been to a place without knowing where to go and finding things without things being there. First time ever. So they gave me a cool vest. Special edition mystery uh, edition. Well, you don't believe me? I'll show you. It's right here. He walked right up to me, and I said, "What is this?" And he was like, "It's your, it's your, it's your prize you won for meeting this impossible goal." I was like, "Really?" He was like, "Yes." And the mayor said, "Well, this guy has—he made this a long time ago." I said, "How'd you know I was coming?" He said, "I investigated." I said, "Oh my God, that makes sense. Makes all the sense." I put it on with honor. I said, why'd you give me this really cool futuristic vest for? He said, every investigator should investigate in a vest with a gate on it. I said, damn, you're right. You're absolutely right. What was I thinking? Wait, what was we making a video about? Oh, icky dick. Well, it seems my random imagination was more important than the person I'm supposed to be making a video about. We'll investigate that another time. Thank you for tuning in to Golden Gate Investigate, the best investigator channel that made every other investigator channel retire.